Looks aren't everything, right? When it comes to video interviews, how you look and how your video is set up can have a profound impact on whether or not you move on to the next round. In this video, I'm giving you the lowdown on how to dress and how to set the scene for a pre-recorded video interview like HireVue, SparkHire, or VidCruder. If you actually want to find a job, you better sit down and watch this one all the way through. You don't want to miss this. Darren DeLuca here and welcome to the Ramblin' Recruiter. Want to find the job of your dreams? Subscribe and click the bell to enable notifications so you never miss another new video again. This is part one of a two-part series on how to prepare for a higher view or spark higher video interview. How you look on video interviews has a lot less to do with how pretty or handsome you are and a lot more to do with how you dress and how you set your video scene. Let's face it, if looks counted on a video interview, I'd be on the breadline right now. Nothing is worse than a totally washed out video, except maybe seeing a pile of dirty laundry in the background. Sound ridiculous? Well, in 20 years of recruiting, believe me when I tell you, I've seen everything. Implement these three easy to follow steps and I guarantee you, your video will look a lot better and you'll have a lot better chance of making it through to the next round. Before we jump into this, I just wanted to let you know that you can support this channel while you do your regular shopping. Just go to Target.com by clicking my link below in the description and do your regular shopping. Don't buy anything you wouldn't normally buy. I appreciate your consideration there. It really helps me reinvest in the channel when you do that, so thanks. Step number one, get back to basics. How you dress on an interview says a ton about you and video interviews are no different. You will never be wrong with a conservative suit and tie combo. Ladies, a suit jacket with a button-down shirt is always best. You may be able to get away with business casual in certain companies, and there are a few high-tech companies out there that strongly discourage you from wearing suits and ties. You can probably get away with a t-shirt and jeans there. However, I would advise that you err on the side of caution and being conservative, so you'd never be wrong to wear a suit and tie. Both women and men, I suggest you keep the jewelry to a minimum. Jewelry can create a lot of flash and sparkle on camera and that's not what you want. It's not the kind of bling you're looking for. Ladies, best practice is to always keep the makeup conservative and minimalistic. Men, go clean shaven unless you normally wear facial hair. If you wear facial hair, keep it neat and trim and clean. Do not start your video interview looking like Grizzly Adams and if you are clean shaven, no five o'clock shadow. Want to get even more great job search tips and continue the conversation outside of YouTube? Join my LinkedIn group. It's totally free and it's a great place to network with other job seekers, hear about great opportunities, and share all the news in the employment market. Step number two, avoid whites and avoid patterns. Now on a normal face-to-face -face job interview, white is typically the best choice of shirt color. Nothing says clean cut like a white shirt. It matches everything and it's extremely conservative. However, on a video interview like a spark hire or a higher view, if you are using a light source or even natural light through a window, white can be very reflective. It can reflect off the white shirt and wash out your face. So your best bet is to go with navy blue. Stick with solid colors, patterns tend to get distorted, especially if you're using a low quality camera like a cheap built-in webcam on a laptop. Don't think I'm unaware of the irony here of wearing a checkered white shirt telling you to wear a solid navy blue shirt. Step number three, the background. Clean it up, please. Nothing says unprofessional like having a pile of dirty laundry or a bunch of kids toys or some other kind of mess or clutter in the background of your video interview. Now, when you're choosing a background for your video interview, do not put a window to your back. Putting a window to your back is going to completely wash out your face. You'll only be able to see an outline of your body, but not actually any of your features. Also, be careful putting a plain white wall to your back. That can have a lot of the same effects as wearing a white shirt. When you pick a background, try to pick a neutral color or wood paneling or bricks. If that's not possible, a good cheap substitute is to always get a solid color shower curtain. Believe it or not, that makes a terrific video background. Okay, so you're nice and neat. You've got a great looking video background. Now here's a few more things you need to take into consideration when you're preparing for a higher view or spark higher video interview. 
Number one, smile. Smiling improves the quality of your voice. Ask any telemarketer and they will tell you that they smile when they're on the phone making their calls. It is a scientific fact that smiling improves the quality of your voice. Don't believe me? Listen. My name's Darren DeLuca and this is the Ramblin' Recruiter. My name's Darren DeLuca and this is the Ramblin' Recruiter. Which one sounded better? Don't feel like smiling? Force it. Number two, sit up straight. Slouching makes you look disinterested. Disinterested is not a good look to go with on a job interview. If you're doing a hire view or a spark hire video interview, sit up in your chair and try to minimize fidgeting or moving. It's very, very noticeable on video. So try to sit up straight, put your back straight against the chair and avoid the temptation to move, fidget, scratch, rub your nose, those kind of things. Number three, look at the camera lens. If you're using a webcam on a laptop or even a phone or a tablet, you're gonna have a huge temptation to look at yourself in the viewfinder as opposed to looking at the camera lens. Don't do it. Looking at yourself in the viewfinder distracts from eye contact. It looks as if you are not making direct eye contact with the person on the other end of the video reviewing it. Right now, I'm looking straight in the camera, but watch what happens when I start looking at myself. I guarantee you can see a difference there. Look directly into the camera, make direct eye contact with the person reviewing your interview. Following these three simple steps, I guarantee will elevate your spark hire or hire view interview to the top 80 to 90% without answering a single question. You will be that much better off than all the other people doing the same interview for the same job. What do you think of my new video background? Leave me a comment below in the description with your thoughts. I'd love to hear some feedback on it. If you haven't already done so, smash that like button. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm when you, the audience, are engaged with the video. Thanks very much, I appreciate that. In part two of this video, we're gonna get into even more detail on what the interviewer wants to see and hear from you when they review your interview. So make sure you don't miss that one. One last thing that I want to tell you for today is that this channel runs on viewer support, so please consider becoming a supporter of this channel on PayPal or Patreon. Links are below in the description, and I want to give a huge shout out and hello to my new patron, Lynn E. Thanks very much, Lynn. I'm so glad that you're here. If you want even more tips on Spark Hire, Hire View, VidCruder, and other types of video interviews, check out the video that's over here. It should pop up any second now. And the one that's over here is the one that YouTube believes that you're gonna like the best. Enjoy the rest of your job searching day. Thanks for stopping by and as always, stay classy YouTube.